trial follows a failed bid by Cambodian National Rescue Party leader in exile, Sam Rainsy, to enter Cambodia last November and lead a popular uprising across the country promising to arrest Prime Minister Hun Sen and end this country's one-party rule. Among those charged with treason is Thierry Seng, a prominent political activist who spoke with VOA shortly before the proceedings got underway. They, uh, Hun Sen and his um, cronies are afraid of Sam Ramsey returning to continue to do politics in Cambodia. So the first attempt which um, saw a lot of international support occurred in November 2019. I was involved with the Nine Finger um, campaign and as you, um, as you may remember, Hun Sen threatened anyone who showed the Nine Finger uh, with um, cutting them off and so it only um, made me want to advocate the return some more, which I did at every instance. The Nine Finger gesture represents November 9. Independence Day here and the day Sam Rainsy promised to return from France. It became a popular salute among his supporters. Now many of them could face jail terms of up to 12 years. Sir Peep Chak, the executive director of the Cambodian Centre for Human Rights, says Cambodian laws are being used to silence critics. The, the, the problem, you know, like you, you end up in jail simply because of your activism and at the end um, you would also be been uh, convicted um, at certain point with a suspended sentence. That is a common uh, scenario we have seen and that is uh, somehow a kind of expected threat for any activist in Cambodia. The CNRP came close to winning the popular vote in elections in 2013. Sam Rainsy refused to accept the result and widespread protests followed. His party was subsequently banned and Hun Sen's Cambodian People's Party won every seat contested at polls in 2018. Since then, protests have been rare, but union leaders, journalists, NGO staffers and even people protesting land grabs are also before the courts. Atit Kong, Vice President of the Coalition of Cambodian Apparel Workers Democratic Union, urged the government to reconsider its attitude to critics. The government should consider and also provide more free space for the people to exercise their rights. Thierry Seng, who is also a US trained lawyer, says rounding up civil society leaders had made it easier for the government to arrest remaining CNRP supporters. Um, I think they're um, charging me now because um, there are no civil society leaders or union leaders who could help mobilize because these leaders are either detained or the exiled and we as you know we have no opposition party we have no opposition leader we have very limited free press so it's opportunistic in their um, in their charge of me at this moment in time the charges are serious due to the sheer numbers and chaotic scenes at the court the judges have divided the 129 into two separate trials, which will be heard in January and March next year. Meanwhile, just last month, Sam Rainsy said he would make another attempt at returning to Cambodia, but would not say how or when. That won't sit well with the government and should raise further concerns among those who support him. Luke Hunt. For VOA News, Phnom Penh, Cambodia.